In the previous video, I've shown you how to build a classification model using the Weka software, which is a no-code machine learning tool. But then the data set that we use was provided by Weka. And so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you could take any CSV data set and how you could prepare it in order to build a classification model using Weka. And so without further ado, we're starting right now. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at the ARSF file for the classification. So previously we've been using the breast cancer data set. So let's import this into the text editor. And so the percent that you see here are the comments, meaning that the Weka software will be ignoring all of this. And so line number 94 could actually be the first line, meaning that if we only have like this, if we deleted lines number one through 93, this would also work as well. Okay, so here the at relation will be telling us the name of the data set. And then lines number two to 11 attribute will be the description of the variables that we're using. So we're going to see that variables from line number two until 10, these are the input variables. So we're going to see that in the braces, it contains the value like 10 to 19. This represents bin number one. As we have recalled from our earlier discussion, the ranges of values were binned into different ranges like 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39. And so essentially these were values converted from quantitative into qualitative terms. And so we're gonna see that all of them are nominal variables or qualitative variables. And line number 11 will show the class variable, which is essentially the classification of whether the data sample or the patient has no recurrence or recurrence of the breast cancer. And then on line number 12, we see at data. So that will define that the following lines of the file will essentially be the CSV file or CSV data. So all of these corresponds to these variables, okay? And so what if we want to use our very own custom CSV file and we want to convert that into the ARFF format. So let us do that. Let me copy this and let's create a new one. Let me close this. And so let me go to the GitHub and let's have a look at the penguins data set. So let's download this by right clicking on the raw link and then save link as, and then you save it into your desktop and then open up the text editor. All right, open up the contents and then we're gonna copy this thing, put it here. And then we're going to customize it to our own data. So we could call this the penguins. We call it data. And then let's see how many variables do we have here? One, two, three, four. So let me do it like this. Add attribute in front. I'll move at data to be right before the CSV data. And so I'm going to format this so that it looks like the one on top here. All right. And so the qualitative 
variables or the nominal variables is the species. So let's copy the unique value of species and we're going to put it into the two braces here. So let's find the other unique possible values. So we have Gen2 and then we have Tin Strap. So there are three possible values. So we have to put it here. So we're going to do the same for Island. Torgensen. And then we have Disco. Then we have Dream. Torgensen, Dream. Let's go. Okay, so there's three possible values. Build length will be numeric. Build depth will also be numeric because they are numbers here. So there's numeric, numeric. This is also numeric. Sex will be male, female. Put it in braces. And then we delete the data from the breast cancer data set. All right, and so I think now the ARFF file is ready. So let's save it. Let me close this. Let's rename it ARFF. All right, and so let's open it up in Wika. Explorer, open file. And then it's on the desktop. All right, so it opened up without any issue. So here we can see the seven variables. The first six variables are the input variables or also known as the independent variables. Variable number seven is the output variable or the variable that we want to predict. And then we also see that the number of males and females are roughly the same. So they have no issue with the imbalance issue we had earlier with the breast cancer data set. And so we see that for the quantitative variables, the minimum and maximum are quite disperse they're not uniform so we're going to do some form of data normalization by going to the filter clicking on choose go to filter go to unsupervised go to attributes and then find normalize and then we're going to normalize the data and so now we see that the numerical variables now have a range of zero and one for the minimum and maximum values. Okay, so right here we also see that there are a total of 333 data samples and seven variables, okay? So this allows us to do a quick EDA analysis. Now head over to the classify tab and let's build some model here. Let's start with the J48 model. Use training set, okay, prediction performance, 96%, MCC, 0.922. This is the confusion matrix. And let's have a look at the cross validation, 10 fold. Provides us 87%, MCC, 0.754. And let's have a look at the percentage split of 80-20 and pretty good performance so far 94% for the accuracy and 0.882 for the MCC so as you can see it's giving a pretty good performance here let's have a look at the other algorithms random forest use training set okay so it's perfect prediction for the training set, let's try the cross validation. 
MCC 0.814, and this is the confusion matrix. Let's have a look at the 80-20 split. 98%, MCC 0.97. Let's try the other algorithms. Neural network, multi-layer perception. Training set, 96%. Cross validation, 90%. Percentage split of 80 20, 94%. And let's try a support vector machine, 91%. Tenfold give us 90%. 80 20 split will give us 95%. Okay. So for those of you who are trying all of these various learning algorithms, the performance that you see, you could retrieve it and then you could combine it into a Microsoft Excel. So all of this is done without any use of code. Let me show you. So we call this the algorithms, and then we're using K48, Random Forest, Neural Network, and Support Vector Machine. And let's see, accuracy for Accuracy for the training set. Accuracy for the cross validation. Let's just call it CV for the MCC. MCC train. C. We call it test. And then we just copy this value in here and go to the next one, which is the tenfold. Copy it, paste it here. Go to the test set, 8020 split, copy it, paste it here. Yeah, so the good old days, this is what I did for combining the prediction results. And then you could do the same for the other parameters like the MCC and the other ones as well. Okay, so you do the same as well for the other algorithms. And so after you have done this, you would have all of the classification performance in one consolidated Excel file. Okay, and so this is the Penguin's data set and we had no issue with importing it and using it in the Weka software. If you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet done so, hit on the notification bell in order to be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science, and please enjoy the journey. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.